Welcome to another product review at Cube3. This tasty piece of kit arrived in the post recently. As you can see here, the contents, the package contains the Instinct watch from Garmin. It's a very trendy accessory. Fits nicely around your wrist and it will help you not just be sporty, which it has done with me, but it will also help you track various things related to your health, such as your heart rate. So some people may know Garmin related to the satellite navigation systems, but they have this range of eSports rugged GPS smartwatches now called Instinct. So let's get into the box. Open it up nicely, and as you can see there, <laughs> if the flap doesn't fall down, is how the watch looks. It's quite smart, isn't it? Very clear to read. Obviously, that is just a sticker on the front at the moment because the watch is not turned on. But it will show you the date, your heart rate, the time, and various other pieces of information. So let's take it out of the box and have a closer look. Yes, inside the box, underneath, hidden away there, was a charge cable. This is very useful because you don't need to change the batteries within the watch. So you have a USB charge cable, one end your regular USB, and the other, a special connection that will go into the back of the watch, which I will show you later. Very useful manual as well, for anyone that needs to know about the safety and product information, as well as a user guide for the Instinct eSports watch from Garmin, for those that want to get the most out of their watch. And you have a look there, you can see it's in a variety of different languages. The quick start manual starts on page four in English. And there are images as well, along with step-by-step -step instructions, so it's pretty simple to set up even someone like me can get it up and running. Or so I think. Let's have a look. <laughs> Let's see how I get on. Okay, first challenge. Let's get it out of its secure trappings. Okay, teasing it out slightly. I don't want to damage the box. I am one of those that likes to keep things in pristine condition. So there we go. There's the watch up close and personal and the nice rubber strap. Some people might start to think that this could irritate your skin when you're doing sports, but I can assure you this is not the sort of watch that will leave sweaty marks and maybe a strange smell. This is a very trendy piece of kit. As you can see here, very nice, very flexible. It's not tough but it is equally not weak, so that it will fall apart easily. There's a lot of care and attention that's been put into this product. There is the strap clip. See, if it's not that easy to undo, so it's not gonna fall off simply. So let's have a look at the other angle. There you go. It needs a good click out. This is a, a firm strap indeed. You're not gonna have any fear of running around with this and it coming loose and falling off. The small holes in the strap as well allow for air to come in. As you can see there, that is the charge port that I mentioned before. So the other end of the USB cable will go into there. And you saw three dots on the back as well. Those are the sensors that which will pick up your heartbeat. So there's the ends of the USB cable and the port that goes in the back of the watch. And let's take a look at how easy it is to pop it in. You can see here it's quite a universal thing like a USB-C. So you can put it in either direction. I'll just try and show you how it goes in there. It's quite sturdy once it's in. So if you're charging and the watch happens to fall off the table, it will definitely stay connected to the cable. There's no fear of dropping this. 
Once it's clicked in, it's firmly clicked in. You can safely charge without concern. So let's have a closer look at the front without the sticker. There you go. You see the Garmin logo and eSports and the various options. You've got control there. Try having a look at it from a different angle. So it's very clear. You've got the set option there, GPS, control, menu, and ABC. But there are also other options on the inner circle of the screen. Yes, on the watch face, there's also up and down, light, and back. So let's press control. Press control and hold it. It turns on the device. And you can see the Garmin logo there. It's loading up. This is the first time it's being used. So there is a procedure to go through. It's quite simple though. For anyone that's wondering, it's not touchscreen, as I just showed you there. So you use the up and down buttons. You see on the inner part of the watch face, it says light up and down. So I'm pressing down at the moment and going through the various range of languages that you can set this to. I don't recognize some of the languages, <laughs> but there are plenty of options and there is a power off button there as well that you saw. So clearly I pressed the wrong button. So there we go. I'm pressing up now. So we're going, scrolling back up. This is how simple it is. Up is up and down is down. <laughs> Nothing to confuse you. Wide variety of languages to appeal to a wider market. But let's stick with English for now because it's the only language that I speak. To set things, unsurprisingly, you have to press the set button in the bottom right there. Pressing control doesn't take you out of it. You can play around and you, you won't cause any problems with this. You see, I had a bit of dust in there already. Pressing the GPS button also confirms. Pressing the set button goes back because on the inner part of the watch face, it says back. It even numbers the things in the booklet. So if you're a bit unsure, just refer to the handy manual. So here we go. It says go to mobile app to add device. Now this is where you would go to your iPhone or your Android device and you would download the Garmin app. As you can see there, Garmin Connect app, which will pair with your smartphone and receive notifications from the phone. Then you can go through the various different options. You can see what altitude you're at at the moment. You can see the time. And you can scroll through various different things, up and down, takes you through different things. It might take a while to just become fully familiar with how to do this. To confirm, you press that GPS button, use it up and down to go through the different menu options. You can customize, you can change the date. You can change how the face looks. You can go into eSports mode. So this is really good for when you're playing games, when you're walking, running on the treadmill, it will track your heart rate. It will keep a total of your steps. It will figure out how many staircases you've gone up and down and it will set different totals. And some of those you can play around with in the app, which you can access on your phone easily enough. We'll show you your last four hours of activity. As you can see, I'm getting a little bit familiar with it, changing how the face looks there. Classic style watch. Or the digital. It's whatever your preference is. Personally, I quite like the default version. So despite trying various different options, I stick with this. So you can go through different activities, look at your records over a period of time. You have other options from the main screen. You can make it find your phone when it's paired. You can play with music controls related to your phone. 
You can broadcast your heart rate to other people online. You can change the brightness of the watch. There's various different things. The fact is that you can use this just as a standard watch. You can use it as a pedometer to check your steps during the day. You can connect it to your phone and check your heartbeat rate through the day. It will also pick up sleep patterns during the night and tell you how much deep sleep you've had, how much REM sleep and light sleep and awake sleep. You can set different activities also using the app. And as I mentioned before, there are eSports options where it will check how stressed you are whilst playing. This is all about your health. This is a great gadget that you can use to encourage yourself to look after yourself better, set up new routines that you might not have had before, and you can either beat your personal totals or challenge yourself with people online. There's nothing like trying to beat a competitor on the other side of the world. <laughs> or it could just be your neighbor or your friends. As you can see, it's very sturdy. It's very pleasing on the eye as well. The nice black with the red text. Have the screen as bright as you want. What you will find is that the battery doesn't drain too much. And as I have it on setting 20 there, that is also normally bright enough for most conditions, unless you're in a, a very dark room. But the battery lasts a long time. Going off experience now, having worn the watch for about three days in a row, after one full charge, it's still on full battery. So you have no fears of it running out after a short space of time. Now you can control your music just as you would do with hands-free kits. You can change your time zones. You can change your settings in terms of Celsius and Fahrenheit when it's checking the temperature. When you press find my phone, it will make your phone beep. And there are other widgets that are available to add. The key thing is getting the Garmin Connect app on your phone and connecting it to the Garmin eSports Instinct Watch. You have a compass as well. For those that like to know where they are in the world and which way is north. Something that I can't really tell from looking at the position of the sun. <laughs> Ever lose your bearings? Don't worry, this watch will set you right. Or left, depending on which way you need to go. We'll have far more details about the Garmin Esports Instinct watch coming up soon. We hope you enjoyed this unboxing video and we'll catch you again later. Bye for now.